Let's take a quick look at how triage cases use case works from an admin point of view, part of now assist for CSM, new Yokohama Q1 March store release. As a system admin, I've arrived to AI Agent Studio, the place that enables me to create, manage, and test AI agents and the use cases that gives them a mission to work as a team, all in one place. Starting with the section of recent use cases and AI agents activity, here's two tasks that showcase which have been created or configured most recently. And then when you go to the create and manage page, I can notice how I can see the full list of use cases or AI agents, their description, tools, knowledge sources, and I even added a proficiency best practice column that is how the AI agent sees itself. I can notice how I can create, duplicate, and manage existing use cases and AI agents through either of these two tabs. You can edit the columns of the list view to change what information is displayed. And from this page, you can also duplicate, filter, or search the list to find the use cases and AI agents that you're looking for quickly. Selecting the name of the use case or AI agent opens the guided setup to configure or reconfigure a use case or AI agent. Finally, we'll go to the testing page where you might guess it. You can test your use cases and AI agents by asking them to complete short tasks that will be part of their more advanced workflows before enabling them into production. Now let's go back to create and manage and search for triage cases, the analysis for CSM use case. As you can see, there's gonna be two results. The unmodified out of the box one that cannot be changed and a copy that's been duplicated with my initials. Let's open the out of the box one. We can see its definition, a use case that manages end-to-end -end case or case type validation, creation, verification, and or escalations. It retrieves relevant context and details from the provided case or interaction to address customer inquiries directly and avoid unnecessary case creation by answering questions if it's not an issue. And right under this, you'll see all the worker or communicator AI agents that work for it. Case context gatherer, customer information verifier, information email responder, customer escalation handler, or customer document verifier. Up next, under define trigger, you can optionally automate when this use case gets activated. For this one, we can see it is enabled for both interactions and cases. There's others that can be added by clicking Add Trigger, and this can be by Record, Schedule, or Application. And lastly, you can select where this AI agent will be displayed, which in this case is the Analysis panel, and for what specific user roles. In this case, the General Agent role. To run agents autonomously, you must first duplicate the use case by clicking on the three ellipses and then making sure use cases, triggers, and agents all are activated. If you prefer to invoke the use case manually, activating the trigger isn't necessary. Now let's go back and explore each AI agent in the triage cases use case, and we will start with the customer escalation handler per the prompt instructions. As we can see here, this agent understands the intent and sentiment on a record and takes appropriate actions such as generating an email with instructions for a customer query. It also assesses whether a case needs to be created, if it's instead an issue or perhaps a negative sentiment. Under instructions, you can overview all through natural language all the steps it will follow, such as gathering the record information, verifying the record using lookup and verify, analyze and classify the record sentiment, getting the intent, answering questions, and if not a question, creating a case, generating email replies, their content, and communicate all of these steps to the person who trigger it. And right over here, we can see the tools it uses to execute its work, such as flow actions, scripts, and search retrievals. And we chose them to be all autonomous. And lastly, this is where we define its availability to activate it. Going back to the next AI agent, this one assesses a record to determine if it meets all the requirements for creation, such as require fields or attachments. And then it validates the record to identify if it needs user communication for additional information or conversion into a specific case type. 
And of course, we can pick into the tools it uses, in this case, flow actions and scripts. Opening an example, we can create a case or case type from a source record. These are the inputs, its execution mode, which in this case, we chose for it to be supervised. For the customer information verifier, this AI agent verifies that the record has all the required fields and analyzes the text to find values that can be slotted into the given set of fields a case might have. Otherwise, it will display the missing fields. And of course, this one has its own tools, again, flow actions and its own scripts. We can see an example of how it's getting custom fields through a script and it's fully autonomous. Now, in contrast with the customer document verifier, this other AI agent checks the documents on the record to ensure they match the documents listed for this specific case type. It identifies those missing documents and it also determines if the document verification has failed. For our final AI agent, we're consolidating and displaying email responses facilitating draft creation of those emails and supporting that email sending action. And for the final set of tools, we can notice how we're using flow action scripts, but also now assist skills. Generative AI being used with Agentic. Here we're generating data autonomously for that email. Now let's go back to create and manage See my duplicate triage cases and see how all the fields I can edit. I have even my own AI agent that I duplicated and did some minor changes to it. For example, I can change its prompting through natural language with no needs of scripting. And I can add a plethora of tools such as catalog items, conversational topics, flow actions, now assist skills like this one, record operations, scripts, search retrievals, subflows, and web searches. Additionally, we can use generative AI to get tool recommendations to add into this specific AI agent. Going back to my duplicate use case for triage cases, I've also duplicated and added another AI agent that skips the usage of complaints case types to make it more contextual to my business. This was as simple as modifying the prompt through natural language and modifying any tools he had set up, such as flow actions. And I did one last change to my duplicate of triage cases, which is changing the criteria of the automated triggers, such as the following for both cases and interactions. And for the display, I changed the user role for anyone who is an analysis panel user. Now, this is the perfect time to go ahead and test this AI agent duplicate. I will select it here and put resolve this specific interaction. As soon as I click on start, it will start analyzing the details of the request. And the orchestrator is sending it to the customer escalation handler, my copy of it. It has confirmed that the record has this specific short description, which I can confirm on the actual interaction record right there. And if I go back to the AI agent, I can see that it has confirmed to me that verification process was done successfully. On the right side, I can see its decision logs. The runtime thoughts of the mission is trying to resolve, reasons for actions, and usage of a specific tools such as getting the record metadata, look up and verify, and analyzing its output fields on the go, all inclusive of the source prompting. We can notice how now the orchestrator has called out the next AI agent to work with, information email responder. While we have the customer escalation handler duplicate I had done on hold while this one does its work. And this is because he has found information that it will generate on an email. Here it is, the email URL that I can click on to review. I can verify the information in the email is correct. In this case, it is giving us the instructions on how to download the monthly invoice, which was the original query. And I can confirm with a yes 
that we can go ahead and send this email. Here you can notice the orchestrator step for the composition on making the decision on generating and drafting the email. While we brought that a specific AI agent that had that task, we get confirmation the email has been sent successfully and that this information was the specific information that the customer needed. Finally, we can see a summary of all the completed steps on the left side and how all the AI agents and their tasks have been successfully completed. And I'd like to note how in this summary, we can see how the intent was a question, so it didn't create a case, and how the sentiment was classified as neutral. For proper testing, let's do another test but now with a case number. I'm going to paste here a case type that was created due to an issue with a billing problem as the current monthly bill is inaccurate. We can notice how again the verification process was done successfully, the thoughts and actions are all recorded, and we have several AI agents in queue. We have failed the document verification process because some documents are missing. And we can see how we're using the documents checklist to verify that information and communicate it back to the user. We've now completed the case context gathering agent and the customer escalation agent is working on the next step of the plan. And now we can see how we have brought up the information email responded by the orchestrator to generate and draft an email response using the record ID for the case and the information gathered for this specific query. Now we can, as always, go and check on the email, make sure that the draft is okay and is asking for the correct information that we need to resolve it, and we can go ahead and confirm with a yes that we want to send it out making this specific action for a human in the loop. We can see all the summary of all the completed steps that we've done and how everything was documented, the sentiment was shown as negative, and the case record had an email generated to help with this resolution. We can check another example here, how another interaction of needing help with a damaged package was escalated to add a correct case type and all the information such as fields or documents were verified. All of these while keeping live agents in the loop and a clean audit trail of its communications in the associated records. This is how we put AI to work in customer service management for admins.